Hello and welcome to Reptiles and Research. So I see a lot of people asking, why does my bearded dragon keep laying eggs? Obviously your bearded dragon has to be female for that to happen, and many people are confused why they're female, even though she's not been near a boy, and she's not had been mated or anything like that, and she's still producing eggs, and a lot of eggs as well. I have had this happen before, and it happened to me where my bearded dragon decided in the spring to lay a clutch of 18 eggs, and then the second clutch of like 12 eggs. So she was producing a lot of infertile eggs as well. But then I learned something that changed everything, and my bearded dragon never laid eggs again. And what I learned was, is that bearded dragons in the wild do not produce eggs unless they are mated by a male. So it doesn't happen in the wild and the reason why it happens in captivity is because we're feeding them too much when they get an excess of calories they then produce infertile eggs because they have excess to do so this is highly highly unnatural in the wild this would not happen they need to be mated to trigger them into producing eggs so because we're plowing so much more food into our beta dragons than they would naturally eat in the wild, that's why they're producing so many infertile eggs, because they have such an excess of calories. So what's the solution? So first of all, if you're in this situation and your beta dragon is producing eggs, what I want you to do is provide them with a nice laying site. So you want a large, deep tub of substrate a lot of people go for like moist sand moisten that and keep it warm around 30 degrees allow her to do her business allow her to lay and lay comfortably you don't want her to have any sort of problem with inappropriate laying sites or holding on to eggs or retaining eggs god forbid so you just want them to get the eggs out and go through that naturally then what you want to do is make sure you're giving them the calcium with their food to replenish any calcium that was used to be laden down on the shell of the egg out of their body. Make sure they get the calcium back to be put back and laid down on their bones. And then what you want to do is scale back on their diet. It's not your fault. A lot of people are overfeeding their bearded dragons. And current advice as a baseline across all bearded dragons in captivity we're all saying to feed them too much. The truth is an adult bearded dragon needs five bugs two days a week and to eat a bowl of veg the size of their head three days a week. That's all they need. So I guarantee if you're in a situation and your bearded dragon is laying eggs, I bet you're in a situation where you're like, I was told way more than that and I'm feeding way more than that. It's not your fault. It happens, a lot of people are feeding too much and our bearded dragons are weighing too much. So the solution to your problem is to scale back the diets. Once you reduce their caloric intake and have a lower caloric diet, they don't lay eggs. And I've had my bearded dragon for many years now. I rectified the situation, reduced her diet. She hasn't laid eggs since. And that's how it's supposed to be. So what you want to do is if you want more information is go on over and watch my adult bearded dragon feeding guide and watch my adult bearded dragon weight guide. Trust me, this channel has all the bearded dragon guides. Subscribe if you want more, the ones that are coming, and I'll see you in the next video.